impacts so many of you watching at home. That's right. The orange line of the T is such a mess. It's actually being shut down for an entire month. The governor says it will hurt in the short term, but it will pay off in the long run. No trains will run on the orange line starting on August 19th at 9 p.m. It's scheduled to reopen 30 days later with new cars and new tracks. We know it's going to be a nightmare for commuters. And we have the information you need, including the alternate routes, the impacted stops, how how much time this could add to your commute, the impact on Boston students who take the tea to school, and the potential for more large scale shutdowns in the future. We start tonight live at Wellington Station in Medford with Christina Rex. Christina? Yeah, Lisa, this is the first time in MBTA history that an entire line of the MBTA will be shut down for an extended period of time. Now, I spoke with riders all night, and they're angry and confused and frustrated, but most of all, they're really just hoping this month-long shutdown is worth it to fix the T. There are 16 days left to commute on these crowded Orange Line trains before the entire line goes dark, out of service for 30 days. Part of this shutdown is about not waiting. It is about making the necessary improvements and making them now. All Orange Line trains will be out of service from August 19th until September 19th. The MBTA says this time is necessary to replace and repair the entire track. To put it in perspective, the 30 days of 24-hour access to rebuild and replace tracks across this line will replace what would have taken five full years of weekend and evening diversions every day. Yeah, every day. These regular riders hope the inconvenience is worth it to put an end to the headaches, delays, and outright safety issues along their commute, like this fire over the Mystic River last month. It's hectic when you have times where you have to be somewhere and you're not sure when you're going to be there. Here's what you need to know if you're an Orange Line commuter. There will be shuttle buses replacing the train's route for the month and increased commuter rail trains. All you have to do is show your Charlie Carter T-Pass to get on the Needham, Providence, or Haverhill lines at any of these listed stops. Yeah, it's going to suck, but we got to make do with it. Yeah, exactly. Nice new trains, nice new tracks. That'll be great. But not all riders are so optimistic about this plan. We're doing a lot of walking. Ridiculous. It's going to make me talk to my boss a little bit and have an excuse to be late. It's kind of terrible for me. I don't have a car, so I rely on the train to get just about everywhere. And the MBTA has agreed on a $37 million contract with Yankee Bus Lines to provide shuttle buses along the Orange Line during this shutdown. But it has not been decided yet exactly what the route will be for those shuttles or if they'll stop at every single station along the Orange Line route. Lisa? Yeah, Christina, we should be clear, it's the first shutdown of its kind, but it may not be the last. No, it might not be. When the general manager of the MBTA, Steve Poftak, was asked today whether this will be an isolated incident, the only time this happens, he did leave the door open. He said that if this shutdown goes according to plan and enough work is done on the T that it seems worth it, he's not ruling out future similar shutdowns on other lines. Thank you, Christina. We want to give you a look now at just how big of an issue this is. Let's give you a closer look at the Orange Line and where it goes. It stretches 11 miles from Forest Hills down in Jamaica Plain and then goes all the way up to Oak Grove in Malden. This is a branch that includes 20 stops. The Orange Line is one of the oldest subway lines in the entire nation, opening back in 1901.